a really cool travel trailer that's under 26 feet bumper to bumper and has a great kitchen. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a Flagstaff Microlite 25 FKS. This is a really amazing layout. Now there's flaws to it and I'm gonna go over those flaws later on in the video. But outside of that, this is a great lightweight half ton towable travel trailer that you should consider. Now, if this is the first time that you've seen videos of mine, I do about an eight to 10 minute walk through through the entire trailer or coach, depending on what you want to call it. And there's not a lot of editing. There isn't a lot of sound effects or anything of that nature. It's just me walking around, showing you the unit, telling you the positives and negatives. So now to me, Flagstaff and Rockwood, which are kissing cousins i mean you really have to look at a pinky nail worth of differences between the two same construction same floor plans about the same pricing but i like the flagstaff look better that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the rockwood i just like the look of the flagstaff better you get a power tongue jack with all flagstaffs we get the double uh, battery box so we put two group of 24 12 volt batteries automatically at the dealership i'm at now i can already tell you what the negative of this travel trailer is there is not any pass-through storage whatsoever and that's because it's a front kitchen floor plan it does have an outside shower as you could tell down here it does have the electric stabilizers it has two five gallon propane tanks this is one of the exterior storage points. And I'm sorry if I'm being messy. I have these trailers pretty close together. So you get that storage, which is pretty much under the dinette. And then we walk back here and you're gonna see that the travel trailer has frameless windows. It also has electric stabilizers in the rear. It has good looking rims. I like the look of it. It's also a well uh, put together travel trailer. And I'll show you more about that later backup camera now it does have an exterior ladder we removed it because it was broken we actually have one on order but this is your main this is your main area for exterior storage which is this slide out tray and it slides all the way out i'm not going to slide it all the way out because i'm one-handed because on the other hand i've got the camera which is my cell phone but that's your main area for storage Okay, but it's also an area, if you look at this panel board, which came unattached, it actually, if you look back there, it's got all the plumbing back there too. So you have access to do plumbing work as well. You have a hitch that is rated for 350 pounds, prepped for backup camera, uh, propane electric hot water heater, an outside kitchen. Now, just remember guys, this refrigerator only works if you are plugged in. It doesn't work on an inverter or solar, even though the trailer is equipped with solar and an inverter. Nice size power awning. And then here's your other part of your storage. Yay, how exciting, right? So that's probably the weakest point of this travel trailer model. Now let's go over one more time to this side. Just look at the weight sticker as we always do. If we look here, the GVWR, sorry about the shakiness, is 6,974 6, pounds. If we look over here in the doorway, we're gonna see the dry weight. And we're gonna turn the camera, and the dry weight is 5,449 pounds. So very much half ton towable. Now inside, they give you the U-shaped dinette, which also gives you extra sleeping. And I do like the fact that they did put the drawers. If you're a fan of my channel, you know I prefer this over the cabinets just for ease of access. There's the other drawer. And then you got your window shades. Lots of windows in this floor plan. Now I like the kitchen setup wide deep counter space lots of kitchen storage 
and your inverter button is accessible while you're in the kitchen. Love all that. I also like that there's not plugs in the walls, not at least not many, and that you have the pull up for the 15 amp and USB charging area. And the thing I don't like, two piece sink. Now, I, I've heard a lot of arguments that are good valid arguments in comment sections in videos pre, uh, previous that people like the uh, two piece because one side can be done dishes, one side could be dirty. I get it. I like the one piece sink because I love pozole, tortilla soup, chili, and generally you're gonna cook those in tall, wide, big pots and you can't, trust me, I've tried, you can't wash those pots in these sinks very easily, okay? Going in, we have a solid pantry. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. It's deep, it's wide. I think that's good enough, especially if you're um, heading out for a week or two or you're on the road for a couple weeks. Good deep cabinets in the front for plates and bowls. And then when you're parked, you can start putting some more stuff up here. They leave you a shelf area up here. So when you're already parked and at your campsite, you can load stuff up there. The smaller Magic Chef uh, microwave, three burner stove, which is pretty much standard anymore, and the bigger oven, so you could put some pizza, small chickens, and then let's be smart everybody and put another drawer to give you more easy access storage. You're probably wondering what the box is on the counter, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> If you guys like this kitchen, let me know in the comments section. I think it's pretty impressive for being a small, lightweight travel trailer. Um, I like the Flagstaff version better than the Freedom Express or the Imagine because I just think the drawers and the cabinets itself are better quality. And the other thing, I'm gonna hit the wall. This is the most impressive thing you can't do on Imagine and you can't do on Freedom Express. I can beat that up all day and it's gonna stay solid. So they do an amazing job structurally of putting together a travel trailer that's gonna have less of an earthquake. I'm not gonna say the earthquake's gonna completely go away, but it's less of an earthquake. This is actually the griddle that goes outside uh, for the outside kitchen. That's a waste, that's a waste, but nobody's perfect. Okay, coming over here, you got your TV with sound bar. Cheap, 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 cheap. And then you got your solar charge controller and your fireplace, which also acts as an electric heater. And then you have your eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. Inside, for now, we have the tire pressure monitoring system and the nine volt battery for the, um, uh, sorry, smoke detector. And then you have your manuals, keys. We got all this stuff kind of hidden away. Here's the second weakest part of this floor plan. This is probably the thing that bothers me more than the outside storage is the bathroom is smaller than hell. But again, beggars can't be choosers. Good size linen closet for towels and sheets and blankets. But I'm, you know, I have claustrophobia already. I can only imagine me trying to take a dump here. And I know you're probably laughing when I say the word dump. But, you know, if you're sitting on the toilet, you want to feel a little comfortable. And I just feel like that's like a coffin. Shower is the same size as everybody else's. So the shower doesn't bother me. That's actually good. But really, <laughs> I mean... I mean, I know they can design any other way the way they got it laid out, but really? And I'm like, I'm not that big of a guy, and I barely fit in there. I got like sidestep in there, so. Uh, but one of the biggest strengths, of course, is they give you the bigger bedroom. So you lose the bathroom space, but you gain a full walk-around residential queen bed with charging station and nightstands on each side with closet space. So it's give and take, right? Now... If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In the top right hand corner is another really cool uh, travel trailer walkthrough I think you guys are going to really enjoy. 
And until next time, remember Earthquake on Wheels and RV stands for Toolkit and Sense of Humor.